Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I have my September wrap-up and October TBR. And guys, if y'all been on my channel for a while, you know my summer was pretty, pretty bad on the reading side. However, I have made a comeback. So far in September, I have read seven books, and I'll be finishing one more by the end of this week. Maybe the middle of this week, maybe I'll get two more in, who knows? It's been a good reading month, guys. Can you tell I'm excited for that? Because... I'm back. <laughs> but honestly, the best part of this reading month is the fact that almost every book I've read has been amazing. Some have made it into my favorite books of all time. It's been great. So, let's get on with the books. The first book I read in the month of September I don't actually have a physical copy of, but that is The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson, the third and final book in the Remnant Chronicles series. And guys, that was, that was very very good ending to a very, very good series. I am so pumped and I cannot wait to see Mary Pearson at the Texas Teen Book Festival. So excited. If you don't know what this series is about, the first book is called The Kiss of Deception and it's about a princess who's betrothed to marry someone who she has never even met before or laid eyes on at all. And so she decides to run away instead of marrying him. She's eventually found by two people. One is the prince who was supposed to marry her, and the other one is an assassin who was supposed to kill her. And you as the reader don't know who's who. It is great. And all the books are out now, and so you won't have to wait through the cliffhangers. Which, honestly, I forgot that the first book had a cliffhanger. I told my friend it didn't. It did. The second book, that cliffhanger. Oh my gosh, guys. But yes, it was, oh my gosh, such a good close to the series. It's like a, almost a 700 page book. It's a big book. Oh, but it's worth it. Oh my gosh, it was so good. The characters in here are amazing. The plot is amazing. The world is amazing. The magic that it has is amazing. It's, it's, it's just amazing, guys. Y'all need to read it if you haven't yet. It's spectacular. Second book I finished in the month of September was Dracula by Bram Stoker. This book is now my favorite classic. I'm in love with it. Which is kind of funny. I picked this up because I found this edition of it when I went to New Mexico for vacation this past summer. And so me and my friend both bought it. We're like, okay, let's read this for school. So we read it for school and guys, it was amazing. I'm telling you guys, I'm going to make t-shirts. I want to get a Dracula laptop sleeve. I want to get a Dracula victim necklace where it's like these just two little red beads and then a clear chain that so looks like you were bit by a vampire. I loved this book. And if you are going to read it, I really recommend you get this edition which is the Writer's Digest because the annotations in here are freaking amazing. Mina Harker was my favorite character by far. Although all the characters were great. It was really funny to see how all of these really smart characters could be so dumb sometimes. And then how the smartest one of all, Mina, was treated as if she was dumb because she was a frail little woman, when really she was the strongest one of them all. She was the backbone of the whole vampire slaying crew. Just saying. Aw, oh, this book was good, guys. This book was so good. Since we're continuing with the whole new favorites thing, this next book is probably my new favorite book of all time. And if y'all know me, you know, it's hard for me to pick one favorite, but this book just might be it. Just might. And that is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Holy crap, guys. This book is fantastic. Now, I didn't know basically anything going into this book, and I really enjoyed that, so I'm not really going to tell y'all what it's about. Just know that it follows these six characters. There's a major heist. The characters, oh my gosh, the plot is great. The, nah, um, guys, this is one of those books where it is just so freaking amazing that I can't even talk about it. It's just that good. And it has these black end papers, which are to die for. And Fuka Kingdom, the sequel, has red end papers, which are also going to be to die for. This whole book is just to die for. And honestly, with this book and with Dracula and with like all of these next ones, Part of the best part about them is I was kind of buddy reading them with my friends, which made it so much more fun. Gotta throw that out there. Snapchat, guys, is a beautiful thing. Because you can react to stuff and send a snap and be like, dude! Also, this is just so fun to get your friends to read books that will break you and then watch them as they break. 
The next book I read in the month of September was not on my top favorites list. <laughs> I read a steeple deck by AJ Hartley. Oh man, guys. So this book, I have a whole review about it, but it's more of a rant than review. Okay, so this book is about a girl named Anglet, and she's a steeple deck, which basically means she like cleans chimneys or whatever. She ends up getting involved in trying to solve a murder and also a robbery of like their lighthouse thing? If they call it like the beacon, so I'm assuming it's like a lighthouse. I don't know, it's some kind of fancy rock they have going on in this world. Honestly, guys, I've read this book, but I know as much as you do, to be honest. So, okay, it wasn't a horrible book. It just annoyed me so much that I can really easily rant about it. And it was just so completely random at some points that I was just like, what am I reading? I can't explain it well without spoiling it, which I don't want to do in case some of y'all want to read it, which I mean, go for it. You might like it. My friend Lindy liked it, but I did not. And it's really funny because she agrees with me on all the stuff where it's like, that was just so ridiculous, but she still enjoyed the book. But for me, it was just like, that was just way too ridiculous for me. There was way too much. Aye, aye, aye. So again, I have a full review. Honestly, I recommend you go watch it. The next book also did not make it in my top books. Honestly, it probably made it into my bottom books. It was that bad. And that is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Now, I'm sorry if this is your favorite classic ever, but... Ugh. <laughs> it was just bad. I just, I did not like it. At all. Not a bit. No, it wasn't the worst book I've ever read. Just... No. We're moving up in the world, guys. The next book I read, I enjoyed. And that is The Last True Love Story by Brendan Kiley? Keeley? I don't know. This is just the cover because I'm lending it to my friend who hopefully will read it before the festival. This book is about a boy who, you know, his family life is pretty eh. And his favorite person is his grandpa, but his grandpa is dying of Alzheimer's. One day when the girl he has a crush on is like, dude, I want to get out of here. He's like, hey, we can steal my mom's car if my grandpa can come along. So they get his grandfather out of his assisted living home, grab their dog, well, his dog, and head out on the road. Yeah, it wasn't really mind boggling, but it... I really enjoy it. I really enjoy seeing a disease like Alzheimer's in YA because I've never seen that before. And you obviously can't tell because I can't show you, but it's a really quick and short book and I highly enjoyed it. Final book I've read so far. Now, there is one that I'm currently reading that I will finish before September ends, but as of right now, the last book that I finished in September is Three Dark Crowns by, okay, is it Kindare, Kindare, Kindar, Kindare, I don't know, Blake. This book, oh my gosh. Now, a little backstory about this book. I was not really wanting to read it, to be honest. She's actually going to be at the Texas Teen Book Festival. And when my friend and I were looking through the list of all the authors that were going to be there and their books, we saw this one and I was like, eh. So we decided, you know, well, we won't try to read that one before the festival. But then, my friend and I got Owl Crate, and the theme was darkness. And first of all, sorry I didn't do an unboxing, but I just wanted to open it once I got it. And guys, my mail didn't come till like 6.30 that day, and it was so annoying. Anyway, and I just, I, I, I had a feeling, I was like, it's going to be Three Dark Crowns. Listen. If it is going to be Three Dark Crowns, then I will read it. But it's going to be Three Dark Crowns. Listen. And I was right. High five to me. So yeah, and I thought, you know, I have the book. I'm going to see the author. I might as well go ahead and read it. And guys, I'm so glad Alcrate had this in their box because otherwise I never would have read it. And oh my gosh, guys, this book was amazing. This book is really cool because it's based off of queen bees and how they will kill each other for dominance in the hive. So this book is about triplets. They are raised separately from each other. And then once they turn 16, they all try to kill each other to see who gets the crown. But then there's a little more to that. They all have these different powers. None of them are quite what they seem to be at first. And oh my god. Gosh, guys, this book is amazing and it will break your heart. Break your heart, man. That ending, oh, oh my gosh. Y'all just need to read this book. It's mind-blowing, amazing. I love it. It's also very annoying. There's this, well, there's more than one character, but there's this one specific character who, like, you're like, oh my gosh, I love you so much. And then he does this one thing and you're like, 
oh my gosh, I want to kill you so much. But you also don't because you still like him because you know, oh, just, hmm, just read the book. Guys, do yourself a favor and read the book. All right, now on to the TBR. So the first book is one that I'm currently reading and that is The Last of the Fire Drakes by, oh, I'm so bad at her name, Farah Umer Boy. I still think that's completely wrong. I need to learn this. And I actually got this for free in exchange for promotion from the booktube tours, which are hosted by Grace over at Loving Them Books, and all the information for that will be down below in the description, which I highly recommend you go check them out because there is a giveaway for this book that you can enter down below. The link is down there. And this book is about a girl named Aurora, and she was adopted, but then her adopted parents died. So now she's living with her aunt and her uncle and her cousin, but they aren't exactly nice. Actually, they're really mean. Very rude. But then one day she gets sucked into this magical world against her will and decides that, you know, maybe, maybe I I wasn't so bad off with my aunt and cousin. And in this magical world, there's a queen who's trying to take over everything and she teams up with different magical creatures to try and stop the queen. And on the way to like, you know, stopping the queen, hopefully, I don't know if she actually does, but I'm hoping you do. She finds about her past and about the power within her. So I'm pretty excited. I'm not that far in. I'm only like five or six chapters in, but it's good so far. Can't wait to finish it. Again, all the author links and links to where you can get this book and the giveaway will be down below in the description. Also links to the booktube tours blog. Now the next book I want to read is one that I'll actually get when I'm at the Texas Team Book Festival and that is Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. I'm also so scared because I have this sinking feeling that someone's going to die and I don't know who, but I have a bad feeling who. Mm. The next book I want to read is A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir. I know this has been out for a while, this is actually a library copy, but I'm also going to be buying this at Texas Book Festival, so I'll just read my own copy once I get it. But this is the sequel to An Ember in the Ashes. I can't wait to read it. I don't know what else to say about it but I can't wait to read it. The last book on my TBR that I know I want to get to is Michael Vay Fall of Hades by Richard Paul Evans. This is the, what is it, sixth? Yeah, sixth Michael Vay book. This series is about a boy named Michael. And he actually has these electrical powers and he doesn't want anybody to know it. But then one day he uses them and one of the girls who sees him is like, dude, I have weird powers too. But the next thing you know, people get kidnapped and people have to gang up with the bullies to save the people and oh my gosh guys this series is good i don't know how many he's going to do i feel like he's going to do seven or eight of them i know this isn't the last one also never have your brother read something before you because he spoiled something for me and i am so mad at him for that so mad literally he comes in here gives me the book Cause this is his copy. I wait until the paperback comes out because that's what I've been getting mine in. He gives me the book. He's like, oh man, you're gonna die. That ending is horrible. It's like a, such a cliffhanger. And, <laughs> and I'm like, what did you just do? You just, boy? Mm. So that's it for my September wrap up and October TBR. Let me know how your reading month went. Was yours as great as mine was? Cause mine was freaking amazing. This has been like my best reading month in a while. It was so nice. Also guys, it's like 72 degrees, which for Texas is cold and it feels so nice. Let me know what you've been reading. Let me know if you've read anything that I've read or I'm going to read. Go check out the giveaway linked down below and yeah. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see y'all again in another one soon.